video of Math with Niall. Today we'll be doing our first lesson of Roman numerals. Ancient Roman numerals. Hi Niall. Yes, the ancient Romans used Roman numerals for writing numbers. And today we're going to learn how to write some numbers as well using those Roman numerals. Yes. So, can you tell everyone where can we see... Roman numerals still being used? On Big Ben. What is Big Ben? A giant clock. Okay, so you can see it on clocks like the Big Ben. Yes. And you can see it on BBC News Breakfast. What do they use Roman numerals for? Um, what, the year? To what write years, so we can yeah. write years. Where else? Um... In our math videos. <laughs> <laughs> and what about in kings' names? Oh yes, like King Henry VIII and Elizabeth II. Okay. So we're going to start with number one. What letter do we use for the value of one? I. I. So can you grab the I and the one and can you put it on the board for us? Okay. They're very big compared to a number. I know, <laughs> they are. Okay, what about number five? Number five is three. I would like you to get those equal signs, Niall. Okay, what letter do you know next? Can you tell everyone? X Ooh, equals what? 10. X equals 10, very good. Okay, what other ones do we know? Um, C. Should we do L first? Okay, L. Do you know the value of the L? Excellent, Naya. Very good. And we have one more letter that we'll be doing today. And what is it? C. C. Can you put the C under the I? Okay, Naya. Brilliant. So can you just go through those letters and the value of each one again for us? I equals one. V equals five. X equals 10, L equals 50, and C equals 100. Okay, I can imagine that somebody that's never done this before looking at you, thinking, what do you think they're thinking? What? <laughs> what was he talking about V is equal to 5? That makes no sense. <laughs> okay, so now that we know the values of the letters we're going to show everyone how it works are you ready for this yes okay now can you put for me the number one on the board using roman numerals only okay now what number do you have on the board one and what letter do we use i any idea how we can write the number two So that makes sense there, because if 1i is 1, then ii would be 1, and another one which is 2. So show us 3. Okay, so that's 3. i, 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 1, 2, 3. Good. Now, if we were to put a fourth i there, now it makes sense that this would be how many? Four. Makes sense. But, mm -hmm. um, it's like, that means it would be the same with 1,000 or 100 and you would have to put 100 eyes. Okay, so we've, we have a rule. What's the rule that we follow? You're not allowed four or more in a row of numbers. Okay, so then there comes the question, how would we write four using the letters? But before we do that, we need to bring in a V. Okay, 
So can you remind everyone how much the V is? Five. Five. Now there's another rule. If we put a small number after the big number, so can you take the one and put it after the V or to the right? Yeah, and then stand, let's see. We're going to add the numbers on. So how much is the V? Five. And how much is the I? One, so you add these. We add that, so it will be? Six. Six. But then you might be thinking, then what's this? What's well, that? Well, because the I is in front, the small number's in front, you're taking it away. You're taking it away. So, you take away... You when take one away from five, one which from is five, four. which is four. So that means that number there is four. Yes. Okay, good. So we know how to write one, two, three, three four, four, and then show five. us five. Let's have a look at that five. Five, good. Now what about six? Well, I've already showed you. So can you explain the six again? So because the small number is in front. After or to the right. Yes. You, you're adding it on. Mm -hmm. So that means one plus five okay. equals six. So five plus one equals six. Good. What about seven? So, you've got five, six, seven. Good. What about eight? So explain. Five, six, seven, eight. What about nine? Are you going to put that other eye there? No. No. So, remember how four with I, V. Mm -hmm. so, and that's because you're taking away the smaller number. And 9 is 10 take away 1. Mm -hmm. So that means we'll put the smaller number here mm -hmm. and the bigger number here. Mm -hmm. So then, and the X is 10. Mm -hmm. So that means 10 take away 1 equals 9. Very good. So that's 9. Show us 10. 10. So that's 10. What about 11? Well, we just have to add the 1 by putting it on the other side. Yes. And what about 12? We had another 1. 12. So Your 10, 11, 12. 12. And 13. You had another one. Oh. And as I said before, you can't have more than three numbers in a row. So three letters in a row, sorry. So that is not 14. That's not 14. Oh, what's going to be 14? <sighs> Do you know? Uh-huh. Well, we'll need the X. Mm -hmm. We won't need you, actually, wait, will we need you? No, yeah, we need you. Is that 14? Can you explain? So, the 4 here is to the right of this. Mm -hmm. So that means we add the smaller number okay. to the 10. So, so take 4 out plus 10 is 14. 14. So take out the X for a minute. Just move it to the side for a second. Yeah, so that on the board is 4. four. And put the X up. And 14. 14, because 10 plus 4 is 14. Yeah. So 15. Move them together. Okay, so we're adding the 10 and the 5, which is 15. Very good. 16. So 
So if I take away the x, it's 6, and then plus the x is 16. Okay, 17. Very good. 18. Okay, and now let's do 19, and can you do it by putting the 9 first, and then the 10? Mm. So how do we do 9? Well, I'll show you. So 9 is, so we don't want you, this is 9. Okay, explain again why that's 9. Because the larger number is to the right of the smaller number so we take it away okay. and then to make it 19 we need to get another one of these so we because the smaller number is in front the 9 mm -hmm. the ix because the x is taking away the 1 so, which is 19. Which is 9. Which is 9. And then you plus the 10, which is the x. And then it's 19. So show us 20. So why is that 20? Because you're just adding these together. X, x. Quiz time! Okay. The best time of the video. Okay, so let's do our quiz. Now, can you tell me how you would write five? V. V. What about eight? V I I I. Very good. What about eleven? X I. Excellent, Naya. Four. Ivy. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, you don't sound very sure. You're correct. I know. <laughs> um, 14. X Ivy. X Ivy. Very good, Niall. Okay, Niall. Now I'm going to give you the numbers using Roman numerals and you tell me what they are. So what about XII? 12. Very good, Niall. What about XVII? 17. Excellent, Niall. What about IX? 9. 9, good. So if i x is 9, what is x i x? 19. Excellent, 9. And before we go, I'll give you one more. A tricky one? One that we haven't covered today. Can you tell me what 35 would be? X, 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 v. Very good, Niall. And that comes to the end of our lesson today. Don't forget guys, join us next time for our second part of Roman numerals. Bye! I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe now because we're on a quest for 1,000 subscribers and don't forget to press that like button. Bye!